What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a riddle generator. So here we have the Riddler, and he's going to ask us some questions. The first one he says, what has neither flesh, bone, nor nail, yet has four fingers and a thumb? And for simplicity, I've made it so that answers must be in all lowercase to eliminate uh, extra scripting. So we're prompt with a, a box to input here. All right. At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. What are they? Is that it? Ah, oh, I thought that was the answer. Let's try stars. All right. A cloud was my mother, the wind is my father, my son is the cool stream, and my daughter is the fruit of the land. A rainbow is my bed, the earth my final resting place, what am I? Alright. You've answered all my questions. Well done. He looks rather irritated. Alright, let me show you how I made that. So you're going to need a plugin for this. Uh, the plugin that you're going to want to use is called Input Command. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this plugin or Command Input by Dark Kitten. And basically, you're going to uh, specify a variable that it's going to store the string into. Uh, you can specify by default uh, max characters, if it uses a picture or not. I thought the picture just blocked the text, so I disabled it. Uh, and your default. This seems to be off offset a little bit. Oh, okay, that's why it's not working. We have to place parentheses around it. There we go. That, now it might work. So in the help file, it's really simple. Basically, you can specify um, the variable you want to use for each one, if you want to use different variables for uh, each input. This is the, the max number of characters that they can type. Uh, and this is the um, the default text that will be there uh, where they would have to backspace. But if you just put this command in, enter text in a plugin command, it'll use the defaults of the plugin. So it'll basically be, if you put in enter underscore text, it'll be uh, 111, 18, and, and blank. So let's look at the event. On uh, I can't talk. In our Riddler event, we have a uh, show text. So basically, this is where you're going to show uh, ask the question. And I'm sure you guys can come up with much better Riddler riddles than I can. But then after you ask them the question, um, you're going to input that plugin command, enter text. And like I said, I can put in whatever variable I want. If we want it to be only 12 uh, letters, and then if we want it to start off by saying uh, take a guess or something we could put that in there but leaving it blank will go to the defaults uh, now we want to basically do this in the uh, engine as much as possible so let's do the little bit of scripting that we have to because we're not able to make a conditional statement um, in the engine that specifies a variable as a string it only specifies variables as uh, as a number you know you could do it like this too but how I'm going to show you how to do it is we're going to basically turn on a switch. If they, uh, We're going to do a script call. So we're going to do um, tab 3 under advanced, do a script call. In that box, we're going to put in um, a couple of conditional statements. So you can see that there's multiple answers. If, the, if they put in glove, it'll work. If they put in A space glove, it'll work. So this is saying if the variable 111, which is being used uh, in the enter text, plug-in uh, plug command 
if that this is a comparison so three equal signs and then this is going to be a string value so we have to put parentheses around it so if they typed in a glove we're going to do a parenthesis right here we're opening up opening up a brace to describe what this function is going to do it's going to um or the conditions if the, if the conditions have been met what's going to happen we're going to turn on the the switch 101 by going true so you do dollar sign game capital s on switches dot set capital v on value open parentheses this number is going to change depending on what switch you want to use so before you do this you can go to your switches go to new tab one control switches go to right here and just declare one switch whatever it doesn't matter as long as it's blank and you don't use it for anything else and just call it riddle switch or something and you don't have to turn it off or on just uh, just uh, allocate it you know <clears throat> so that's why we have 101 right here comma true uh, switches or booleans they can only be zero or one true or false so if it is on we're gonna throw close the parentheses do an inline and close the brace we're gonna take multiple answers so we're gonna say if parentheses dollar sign game same exact thing except you change this to uh, all other answers that are acceptable so if you have like multiple answers you can just go like this if it'll let me copy with control C go right here control V to paste it and then also acceptable whatever answer you put you want to put in right there so that's it for the script um, so if they guess the right answer, well, we're, it'll do this. So we're going to do a conditional statement now using the engine. We're going to do a conditional branch. And if this switch is on, the riddle switch is on, we're going to do an else handler too because they could have guessed wrong. So if it's on, do this. Otherwise, do this. Inside here, we're going to let the uh, whatever rewards you want the, the player to get can show text you can change their gold give them an item whatever but we're gonna turn that switch off so we can use the same switch multiple times we don't have to create a switch for every question then we're gonna do a control variables so we're gonna control a variable to have them ask multiple questions instead of having a switch for each tab we can use one variable to control as many questions as you want so how we do this is we control pick another variable this will be separate from the variable that's stored so if, if you see our variables we have our string input variable which is 111 and then we've got our solved riddle count which is 112 so we're just going to add one to that so just go to operation of add constant of one and then otherwise he's going to laugh at us and he's going to tell us to try again we're going to copy this page and then paste it and it'll look like this so we're going to check variable right here and that new variable that we added one to we're going to select that one and we're going to say greater than equal to one you can change the question change the answers that you're going to accept use that same condition right here so you won't even have to change the switch you can change the rewards if you want to but all of this can stay the same basically all you do is change the question change the answers you'll take and then you copy this page you paste that page it'll look like that you change this number to two change the questions change the answers rewards you can change them up if you want to copy paste and then when you finally get done with all of your questions on the third you change the variable you can have him do something else like uh, you, so you solved all of them and you get this special reward for solving all of them all right Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get that plugin. Really awesome plugin. I just found it. Um, before this, I was using a prompt. I'll show you a little bonus thing. If uh, you do an event and you do a script call, you can go prompt. And you can even store that in a variable. Variable x equals this but that's only going to store it locally so if we were to look at that it'll bring a prompt up but that's sort of game uh, I think it takes away from immersion using the plugin is going to be a lot better you see here's our prompt we can't really move it around we can sort of click OK and sort of click cancel blah 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 and whatever we put in there is going to be stored into a, a temporary local variable um, we can't call on that in another place in the game, so using the plugin is going to be a lot better than doing the, the prompt. 
But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this sort of thing, remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps me out. Um, you guys are great. Thank you so much. We will see you guys in the next tutorial.